GTA 6 release date has been pushed back yet again and I thought instead of waiting for a whole year just for it to be probably delayed again, I used ChatGPT and Claude AI to create my own GTA 6. Let's get started with ChatGPT. So I'm on ChatGPT right now here and I'm basically going to ask if it can generate GTA 6. This might take a while so I will just speed it up for you. Alright, I've written everything out and it looks like a whole entire paragraph, but let's just click enter right here. <gasps> it looks like it started generating the code, so let's just wait until it's finished. Now that's finished generating the code, all we do is press this little copy button right at the top here. And then we go into Visual Studio Code and we just paste this little thing right here we just go up to the top left click on file and save i have it saved here so i'm just going to press on this double click all right guys i've just loaded into the game and it actually looks pretty interesting it's in 3d which that's what i asked for so that's pretty good so that's a point at the top left here we have some kind of ammo bar thing Let's first click on how to play because that's quite interesting. I've never seen that on a chat GPT game. I don't feel like reading all that, so I'm just going to click Bruh. OK. And let's click on new game. So our character is some kind of blue bean thing. And these yellow guys appear to be NPCs. <laughs> At the bottom left here, it says left click to shoot. It's hard to see, but I am shooting. It says that my wanted status is 1 currently, so these red b blocks appear to be police. So if I shoot one of them, they should come after me, yep. If I click on R, it should reload, which it is. If you hold down shift, you sprint. And the police are coming after me again, so I better run. And that's basically all you do in this game, but I'm not gonna lie, for an AI, this actually isn't too bad. Hey guys, I'm not gonna lie, that ChatGPT game was actually pretty good. So, in my honest opinion, I'm gonna rate it 4.5 out of 5, which is actually a really great score. So, now let's move on to Claude AI. So now we're on Claude AI, and I've just got the same thing I've just gave ChatGPT. So, let's go ahead and press on enter. Click on this little i button, and it loads up right here. From what I can see, this is a 2D game, even though I asked it to be a 3D game and it's even labelled as a 3D game, which I find kind of strange, although, it doesn't look bad though. I can shoot people right here, and I've got money, so that's pretty cool. What's these things? Oh, no, police is chasing me. Wait, that's so cool. It's flashing blue and red like a real police car. Can I shoot it? Oh. Oh my god. I'm level 3 wanted. Wait, I don't have any more ammo. How do I reload? I don't have any more ammo. How do I reload? Oh no, I don't have ammo. I've only just noticed I can pull this out so it fits the screen more. Bruh. One thing I've just noticed is that there's a cool little mini map in the top right corner, which is actually really useful. Alright, I've just found a gun shop right here, so apparently if I go here and click on R, yep, I just put some ammo, and I'm gonna try to shoot this egg. Trick shot. Trick shot. Trick shot. Trick shot. Oh. Wow, that game that we just played was actually fire guys. Like, I really don't think I have any other choice but to give it a 5. It was extremely fun and to be honest I could see myself actually playing that game if I'm bored. This means Claude AI wins and ChatGPT loses once again. Quick thing before I end the video, thank you guys so much for 200 subs and for all the support in the comments. If you have any video idea, feel free to drop me a comment and maybe subscribe. So until next time, goodbye.